Beautiful. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome everyone to our public reveal event uh, for our last round of our Rev Innovative Awardees. Uh, we were, as we were getting ready to start today, there's lots of anxious excitement. We have people waving through video conference. So we're excited to be here and, and kick this off. Uh, these district teams have created responsive, innovative ideas for meeting the educa educational needs of their students. And you're going to hear from them in just a minute. To provide a little context, in August of 2020, the Maine Department of Education was awarded $16.9 million from the U.S. Department of Education's Rethink K-12 through Education Models funding. Maine was one of 11 states to receive this funding, and Maine's project, Rethinking Remote and Our Responsive Education Ventures, or REV, offers a multi-pronged solution with a primary goal of generating innovative remote learning models to provide equitable access to high quality remote learning opportunities for all students. Prior to today, REV has awarded over $7 million to 39 different pilot ideas in 36 different districts. The distribution of total awarded funds breaks down into the four REV categories, of extended learning, $1.5 million, multiple pathways, $1.8 million, online learning, $1.1 million, and outdoor education, $4.1 million. So today's six new awards total $900,000 and brings our new funding total to $8.5 million and our awardee count to 45. And 45 is an incredible number. So we're so excited to add our six new awardees. Today's awards features pilots in outdoor education, extended learning opportunities, and multiple pathways. And we're excited to share and introduce all that you're gonna meet today. So now the moment of truth, the most exciting part, why you're all here, let's, let's meet our awardees and, and reveal them. Uh, to everyone. Uh, let's get it started. So our first awardee is from AOS 96, Machias, and their award category is Outdoor Ed. Uh, now, what we're, the way we're going to do this is I'm going to share a little bit, uh, a couple sentences to describe their pilot, and then we're going to turn the mic over to them, and they are going to share more about their idea. So the Rose M. Gaffney Elementary School will create and implement outdoor education lessons and activities geared towards pre-K through eighth grade learners. These lessons will provide learners with the opportunity to use the trail system behind the school and materials to continue their classroom learning in an outdoor setting. And I would like to turn the mic over to Kelly Woodward and Sue Dow and many more. I think I saw a full video screen of folks there from AOS 96 to hear more about their pilot idea. Congratulations and, and take it away. Hi, thank you very much. Um, I'm Kelly Woodward. I teach fifth grade at Rosen Gaffney and I have quite the team here with me. Um, we have Sue Dow, who is our principal, Jen Bunker, who teaches pre-K, Caitlin Dow, who teaches seventh and eighth grade science, we have um, <laughs> Janice Whitney, who teaches second grade, and Kate Whitney, who teaches PE. Um, so we are really excited for this opportunity. And we just want to talk a little bit about what our project is. Um, we're going to be creating kits that teachers can just grab and go and take to their outdoor learning space. These kits will have engaging activities to supplement their learning in from the classroom. Our goal is to increase the amount of outdoor learning happening at our school so that we will see happier kids, kids who are more focused, more engaged, and kids who appreciate and respect the environment around us. We're really excited for this and we're eager to build a large collection of kits that will be fun and engaging. Congratulations. Uh, Kelly and team, I think you broke the record for the most number of people that have joined uh, for a reveal session. So congratulations. It sounds like your team is, is alive and well and ready to go. So congratulations. Congratulations. Well, we're going to keep this awardee reveal buzz going with our next uh, awardee, uh, RSU 10, Marobi. Uh, their award category is outdoor education. So RSU 10 MVB Academy will pilot a program 
to support students struggling with ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. The work will provide strategies to enhance engagement, improve attendance, foster resilience skills, and promote positive behaviors. So to share more about their pilot idea, I'm gonna turn it over to Maggie Corlett and Lacey Todd from RSU 10. Good morning. So Morobi began a nature-based education program in 2016 to address those student needs. The impact of going out to the woods to explore, learn, problem solve and grow is almost immediate, immediately noticeable. At Mountain Valley Middle School, classroom teachers have collaborated with several outdoor organizations to um, bring nature-based and place-based educational experiences to the students in grades five through eight. As a result, the students have become more environmentally conscious and aware of the human impact on our ecosystem. We started this pilot, the Mountain Valley or the MVB Academy, to add to our existing programs. So caring for honeybees has the potential to deepen our students' connection with nature and to drive their passion for making positive changes for their future and the future of our planet. It also has the potential to develop a uniquely close partnership with a community that will help build student engagement. We believe that this pilot program using an apiary and partnering, partnering with the Western Maine Beekeepers Association could have a similar impact on attendance, engagement, and well-being for our fourth and fifth graders. The fourth grade students will learn about the basics of beekeeping, and they will share their knowledge by teaching the other grade levels in Morobi. They will also help teach the adult ed B school put on by the Western Maine Beekeepers Association. The fourth graders job will be to mentor younger students and help guide their beekeeping experiences. The fifth graders will share their knowledge and experiences at the WMBA's beekeeping booth at the Farmington Fair during their youth ag day, teaching students from other districts about beekeeping. They will continue their beekeeping journey through an ecology lens and all students will be supported by local seasoned beekeepers as they grow, maintain, and care for several beehives on our shared campus. To provide for the sustainability of this pilot program, a website will be designed that will provide a space for the students in both schools to make and sell bee-themed crafts and art, honey, wax, wax products made by our students, as well as live queen bees. Students will have the opportunity to help run their business and make decisions about how to spend the money to help keep this program th thriving. At the same time, they will be providing a very helpful service by providing queen bees to the local beekeeping community. While this pilot focuses mainly on the fourth and the fifth graders, in 2025, Morobi, Mountain Valley Middle School, and Rumford Elementary will be combined into one new building. Each school has its own unique culture, and we expect that the MVB Academy will be the glue that helps each school come together in a new way, allowing for a cohesive community of learners instead of three separate entities trying to be under the same roof. The innovation will start the connection process well ahead of the new school's arrival. We are truly thankful for this opportunity for our students and we look forward to seeing where this innovation takes us. Congratulations, Maggie. The, your enthusiasm, the team, for your team's enthusiasm for the MVB Academy is infectious. And you can finally publicly tell everybody. Maggie was like, can I tell them now? Can I tell? So you've got it. Today's the day you can, you can let it rip. So congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. Our next awardee is MSAD 13 Bingham, and their award category is outdoor education. So here's the here are the, the sentence related to their project. Uh, Upper Kennebec Valley Junior and Senior High School is working to grow an innovative outdoor-based education program to increase student engagement and better prepare students for their lives, lives after school. So I'm going to turn it over to the MSAD 13 team to hear more about their pilot idea. All right. Thanks, Nick. Um, so at SAD 13, we're using our Rev um, pilot to step up our, our programming in outdoor education, wildlife studies, and agricultural studies. Uh, we offer these courses as Part of our junior high specials rotation and we offer them as elective courses to our high school students so all of our junior high students are engaged in at least one of these courses every year and at the high school we're seeing incredibly high engagement with a little over 80 percent of our high school students 
um, selecting one of these courses as an elective um, at this point. So really, really high engagement. Uh, and we're using our Rub Award to do things like uh, heat our greenhouse so that our egg study can keep rolling outside in the greenhouse year round. Uh, we're establishing a property use agreement with the local nonprofit ski mountain so that our outdoor studies class will have access to uh, sort of a satellite campus and about 50 acres of, of wilderness to explore there. Um, and we're going to be purchasing boats and equipment for our wildlife studies program to be able to access the Kennebec and Wyman Lake that we have right in our in our backyard. So super excited about about the award and we're providing a, a lot of great opportunities for our students with it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. We're so excited to see the ways your outdoor based uh, education programs impact your junior and senior high school. So thank you so much and congratulations. So our next awardee is Union 103 Jonesport. Uh, this award category, their award category is extended learning opportunities. So in order to spark innovation across all three schools in the Jonesport and Beals community, this initiative will support creative opportunities and innovative practices for students and teachers. And to tell, them, tell us more about this in Union 103, um, let's turn to Becky Coffin and Union 103 to hear more about their idea. Welcome. Hello, um, I'm Becky Coffin. I am an English teacher at Jonesport Beals High School. And with me, the woman who brought us the Rev Grant, <laughs> Robin Manini, our aquaponics and aquaculture teacher at Jonesport Beals. Um, our purpose was to do just that, spark innovation with our students and provide engaging and uh, inspirational opportunities where they can take ownership of their learning. Um, and with that, we built off of a lot of programs we currently have going at our district and wanted to make them even more engaging and available to all of our students. With that, we looked at aquaponics and aquaculture in which students will get to see a new greenhouse, hopefully, um, where they can watch their entire projects literally grow from seed to product and be able to uh, to work with those recipes in a kitchen and sell them to their own community members. Um, at Beals Elementary, uh, part of Union 103, we have uh, students working towards uh, seeing a trail and a path built around their school where they can uh, create products and opportunities for community members to visit and participate as part of the school. Um, we're very grateful and excited to see all of the opportunities students have coming for them. Congratulations to you both and to all working on your project as you move it forward. Uh, again, we're excited to watch that aquaponics work uh, as you as you roll it out and the impact it has on your students. So congratulations, congratulations. We're moving forward. Our next awardee is MSAD7 North Haven and their award category is Multiple Pathways. So in coordination with the community, North Haven Community School will develop programming to support lifelong learning outcomes for both K through 12 and adult learners. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it over to Sean Johnson from MSAD7 to hear more about their pilot idea. Welcome, Sean. Great, thank you. So I'm a principal of a little island school. Uh, we have 50 students. And so uh, our town administration is going through a significant revisioning uh, in response to climate change. And so two of those priorities are workforce diversification and economic development, because climate change is going to bring significant changes to the lobstering and fishing community over the next decade or more. And so what we're going to do is we have a fabulous makerspace building uh, on our school's campus. And so we want to transform that into a lifelong learning hub for our K-12 students to use during the day and then bring in adults from our community to teach various classes of people in our community. So most of our REV grant money, which is fantastic, is going to be investing in people. Uh, we have to do a lot for ourselves out here because we have an hour, 15 minute ferry ride to get here. So we have to do a lot for ourselves. We have to train and uplift from within uh, at sort of the grassroots level. And so our Rev Grant is going to support this lifelong learning hub to work with our town administration to diversify our workforce and help prepare 
uh, young people and adults for the different kinds of work and professions that we need out here to support this island community. So that's where we're at. Congratulations, Sean. And I think there's no better investment than investment in people and students. So again, we're really excited to see how your pilot develops there and the impact it has on your community and lifelong learners. Thank so you. Thank you. Yes. Um, and our final awardee to reveal here is AOS 91 and Trenton. Uh, their award category is outdoor education. And Trenton, Trenton's pilot seeks to innovate grades K through eight. Uh, and their education, both focusing on students' social emotional well being and mental health concerns. So, we have Crystal DeGraca from AOS 91, Trenton, to hear more about their pilot. I'm Snow Ross. I'm the third grade teacher here at Trenton, and this is Crystal DeGraca, our principal. We're so excited to be here today. Um, the name of our initiative is we named it TREE Trenton Rethinking Experiential Education. And it's a K-8 initiative to get our kiddos outside learning in the community, not just on our school property. We wanna think about how all of our students get their needs met. We really wanna increase independence, peer relationships, self-awareness, and kiddos' overall mental health. And to do so, we will integrate therapeutic services like horseback riding, STEM-based learning opportunities, and outdoor collaborative experiences through experiential learning, we will use uh, field work and place-based learning in the living world um, in each child's school day. Students will participate in engaging outdoor experiences that will help them to build social connections and increase their self-esteem while reconnecting with our natural world. Our aim is to truly increase the students' um, attendance, engagement, and overall their ability to self-regulate. Congratulations to you both. Uh, again, it sounds like you're creating such rich environments for students to experience school and, and to create meaningful um, experiences there. So thank you so much. Uh, all of these ideas are incredible and we get the pleasure to watch them all happen uh, over, the over the next, um, between now and June, 2024. So thanks to all the schools and districts for their hard work in creating innovative educational programming for their schools and their students. Uh, we look forward to working with you uh, as you implement these new programs. Uh, and as I just mentioned, in, in late November, the REV initiative was granted a no-cost extension year, which means that all 45 of our pilots will now have until June 2024 to utilize their available funding to, to fully realize the goals of their innovative pilots. So just want to thank all of you for attending today, all of you for telling us more about your ideas. And we'll be watching. We'll be watching the exciting things that you do with your school and the impact that you have on your community. So thank you all. Congratulations. And keep on trucking. We're happy to see you.